Welcome to Touchpoints TV. I'm Debbie House, editor of Retail Touchpoints, and I'm here at the Blue Mercury store in Georgetown with Barry Beck, who's the co-founder and COO of Blue Mercury Chain. Welcome and thanks for joining us today, Barry. Thank you for having me. Fill us in a little bit on the overall concept of the Blue Mercury stores and, and what we're to expect from Blue Mercury in the future. Well, today, Blue Mercury is widely recognized as the nation's largest and fastest growing luxury beauty products and retail spa chain with stores from coast to coast. And everything we do is focused on being the friendly neighborhood store where you can get expert, honest advice. I always tell our teams, I don't know exactly which beauty products we'll be selling in 20 years, but I know we'll be the best in the world at giving beauty advice. And I would say that everything we do really builds to create the friendly neighborhood store environment. We have stores near where our customers live and work. Uh, we have spas at 90% of our locations. We were rated by Oprah as one of the best facials in America. That done, boosted business a bit. It did. We, <laughs> you know, we've done over two million facials since the company was founded. And we have amazing beauty experts who are some of the most knowledgeable people in the industry. So I've heard that you're, you guys at Blue Mercury are data junkies. Is that true? This is true. We've spent a lot of time uh, over the years pouring over our data, collecting data. Today we have more than two million customer records. And we studied this data. In fact, um, it's helped us launch the M61 brand that's sitting behind us right now. And the reason why we launched M61 is we knew there was a gap in the market. Our customers were coming in and we were studying the data. They were coming into our stores and they were looking for dermatologist proven ingredients also along with power pack natural ingredients without the harsh chemicals. And that led us to launch the M61 skincare line, which has been a runaway success for us. Ultimately, our e-commerce vision uh, is one where we want to be completely agnostic as to where our customers are coming from or what time of day. We want to be the best in the world at giving beauty advice to our customers 24 hours, seven days a week. Now you have a new uh, partnership with Macy's that occurred this year. So that, has that helped you um, in any way with your technology and what, are, what should we expect? Should we expect to see Blue Mercury and Macy's? Absolutely, we've launched our first four uh, shops inside Macy's shops. A lot of people don't know that Macy's is actually the seventh largest e-commerce company in America today. And they've been a big supporter of our omni-channel e-commerce strategy plans. All right, now tell us a little bit about um, the strategies and technologies uh, with customer engagement and how you're, and I believe they're called beauty junkies. Yes. Are they your store associates? Um, and how, so how they use technology and other strategies to better engage with shoppers. Our strategy in technology and how we make decisions around technology really revolves around four key things, which is cloud, mobile, big data, and security. And I really feel like we're in the middle of an industrial revolution and big data is going to change the way we do everything. Every company today is a technology company. So whether you're in agriculture or fashion and beauty like Blue Mercury, you're a technology business. And if you've been in business for more than five years, you invariably have legacy technologies. And our challenge is, and every company's challenge is, is moving from our legacy technologies that our customers are used to using to our new mobile and cloud ecosystem, uh, which we're working on now. One of the ways that we use our new cloud and mobile ecosystem today is through gathering of lots of data on our customers. 50% of the time when a customer comes into Blue Mercury to shop, they're looking for a product with a specific attribute. Do you have hairspray that's not sticky? Or do you have cream for dark circles? Only 25% of the time is a Blue Mercury customer coming in looking for a specific brand or a product within that brand. And what that means to us is our Blue Mercury experts have to be human Googles for products. They have to hyper-customize and specialize in knowing everything about the products that are in our store today. And with the proliferation of the information superhighway and the internet, our customers demand more information, more ways to shop than they ever have before. Right, absolutely. So one more final question. I want to talk a little bit about how you've developed the, the brand and the stores, because I know you have kind of an, a unique uh, way of doing things as far as opening new stores. Um, and I know that you are personally involved in looking at every new location. So, so fill us in on how you, how you manage to do that. Our future strategy is our land and expand strategy. So we'll come into a new market, for instance, Texas or California. We'll drop a store in and then we'll mushroom out from there. In fact, today in Washington, D.C., we have 12 stores. In Manhattan, we've got 10 stores, including some stores in development. 
One of the things that we've seen at Blue Mercury, which um, other retailers can't do, is that we can drop stores right next to each other, and instead of cannibalizing or getting sales transfer, we actually see a lift to the overall business due to brand awareness. You'd think that having stores so close to each other would have that cannibalization effect, but that's not the case. It has a halo effect for us, um, and we're going to continue to roll out our strategy for new innovation and technologies in store, such as our mobile strategy. And the way I sort of look at technology decision making, this is a question you've asked me before, yeah. is I really look at it in really two ways revolutionary innovation and evolutionary innovation. I really break that down into three buckets, which is our near-term innovation, such as our mobile technology we're rolling out into stores and cloud, next generation technologies um, that are really just a little bit out in front of us, and sort of upstream R&D innovation, um, truly disruptive technologies, um, such as 3D printing. Certainly we're thinking that in three to five years, once that whole ecosystem of 3D printing is built, we certainly see a world where it's possible where Blue Mercury customers will be able to order cosmetics online and print them at home for themselves. It's a very interesting time and an amazing time, and this would really be the next big industrial revolution after big data, really is, I think, is going to be 3D printing. I will tell you, I really only spend a small portion of my time thinking about um, the true upstream R&D, maybe 10% of my time, because it's hard to know what our returns will be. And I'm not sure whether that's a $10 billion industry in five years or a $30 billion industry. But I spend about 70% of my time thinking about near-term innovation and maybe 20% of my time thinking about next generation. So just one more question for you. What kind of advice would you have for other executives in the retail industry who are thinking about you know, being successful in the long term? So I think one thing that every executive in the C-suite of any retail company who's overseeing technology has to be concerned about is being Ubered. So what do I mean by being Ubered? Completely disrupted by technology you weren't aware of. For example, today we take our cell phone, we give all of our credit card information, personal information to a total stranger who picks us up on the street. Isn't this everything our mother warned us not to do? Exactly. Uh, if you're using Uber, you've been disrupted. Well, I think that's a great place for us to wrap up. I'm fascinated to see what happens with the 3D printing and I'm sure everyone else is as well. So thanks for sharing all your insights with us. Looking forward to the future at Blue Mercury, and thanks to all of you for joining us today. Have Thank a great you. day.